Operating expenses, or OPEX, are the lifeblood of any business, the necessary costs that keep the wheels turning day in and day out. Think about it every time you walk into a store, order a product online, or even see an ad pop up on your social media. There's a whole world of expenses behind that experience. These are the costs that aren't tied directly to the production of goods, but are crucial for running the business smoothly. They are the expenses that don't just vanish into the background. They shape the very nature of a company's operations. Now, let's break this down a bit. Operating expenses are deducted from revenue to arrive at operating income, which is essentially a measure of how profitable a company is before accounting for interest and taxes. This number is vital for investors and stakeholders because it tells them how well a company is managing its core operations. It's like the scorecard of a business's health. But here's where it gets interesting. Operating expenses are not the same as the cost of goods sold, or COBS, and they also differ from capital expenditures, or CAPEX. COBS includes the direct costs associated with producing the goods or services a company sells. If you're a bakery, COBS would cover the flour, sugar, and eggs you buy, as well as the wages paid to the bakers who whip up those delicious pastries. On the other hand, OPEX encompasses the indirect costs that keep the bakery running day to day, like the rent for the shop, the utilities, and the salaries of the staff who manage the cash register and keep the place clean. Operating expenses can be categorized into two main types, selling, general, and administrative expenses, or SG&A, and the cost of goods sold. SG&A includes all the overhead costs that keep a business functioning but aren't directly tied to production. This can cover everything from marketing and sales to administrative support. Imagine the marketing team brainstorming the next viral campaign or the sales team hitting the phones to drum up business. Those efforts cost money, and that money is part of operating expenses. Now, let's dive into some concrete examples of operating expenses. Rent and utilities are classic examples. Every month, a business pays its landlord for the space it occupies and keeps the lights on. Then there are salaries and wages, compensation for the hardworking employees who make everything happen. And let's not forget about depreciation and amortization, which reflect the gradual loss in value of tangible and intangible assets over time. It's like acknowledging that your equipment, while still functional, isn't worth what it once was. Marketing and advertising expenses are also significant contributors to operating expenses. Businesses invest in promoting their product or services to attract customers, and those costs can add up quickly. Insurance premiums are another necessary evil. They protect a business from unforeseen events, but they also take a bite out of the budget. Office supplies and expenses, maintenance and repairs, travel expenses, and professional fees all round out the list of operating expenses that a business must manage. So, why is understanding operating expenses so crucial? For starters, it gives investors a clearer picture of a company's profitability and cost management. If a company is racking up high operating expenses without a corresponding increase in revenue, that's a red flag. It's like watching a friend spend lavishly while their paycheck remains the same. It doesn't take a financial expert to see that something's off. Managing operating expenses effectively is essential for maintaining the financial health of a business. Here are some strategies that can help. First, track your expenses closely. Knowledge is power, and knowing where your money goes can help you identify areas where you can cut costs. Second, don't shy away from negotiating with vendors. Often, you can get better prices by shopping around and leveraging quotes from different suppliers. Outsourcing non-core functions can also be a game changer. If your business spends a lot of time on tasks, that aren't central to its mission. Consider outsourcing those tasks to third-party providers who can do them more efficiently. It's often cheaper and allows your team to focus on what they do best. Investing in cost-saving technology is another smart move. Tools like cloud computing and video conferencing can reduce expenses and increase efficiency. Empowering your employees to make decisions about cost-saving measures can lead to creative solutions that you might not have considered. Sometimes, it's the little things that add up to significant savings. But remember, while it's essential to manage operating expenses, it's equally important not to compromise the quality of your product or services. Cutting corners can lead to unhappy customers, and that's a cost that can be far greater than any savings you might achieve. Now, let's address some common misconceptions and the stakes that businesses make when managing operating expenses. One of the biggest pitfalls is not tracking expenses closely. If you don't know what you're spending, how can you cut costs effectively? Another mistake is failing to negotiate with vendors. Many businesses simply accept the prices they're given without questioning them, which can lead to overpaying for goods and services. Not outsourcing non-core functions is another missed opportunity. If you're spending too much time, and money on tasks that don't directly contribute to your bottom line, it's time to rethink your approach. And let's not forget the importance of investing in cost-saving technology. In today's fast-paced world, businesses that fail to adopt new technologies risk falling behind. When we talk about operating expenses, it's also important to understand how they can be classified as fixed or variable. 
Fixed expenses are those that remain constant regardless of the level of production or sales. Rent and salaries are classic examples of fixed expenses. They don't fluctuate based on how many products you sell. On the other hand, variable expenses change with the level of production. Think about the cost of materials or shipping. The more you produce, the higher those costs can climb. Tracking operating expenses as fixed or variable can provide valuable insights into a business's cost structure. If a company has a high proportion of fixed expenses, it may be more vulnerable to fluctuations in demand. Conversely, a company with a high proportion of variable expenses can adjust more easily to changes in sales volume. Understanding this distinction can lead to better financial planning and more informed decision making. Identifying what isn't an operating expense is just as important as understanding what is. Non-recurring expenses, like one-time legal fees or consulting costs, are part of the regular operating expenses. Capital expenditures, which are investments in long-term assets, also don't fall under the operating expenses umbrella. Similarly, interest expenses and income taxes are not considered operating expenses because they are not directly tied to the company's core operations. By distinguishing between operating, and non-operating expenses, businesses can gain a clearer picture of their true profitability. This understanding can inform pricing strategies, marketing efforts, and other critical business decisions. In conclusion, operating expenses are a vital component of any business's financial landscape. They encompass the costs necessary to keep a business running, but aren't directly tied to the production of goods or services. By effectively managing these expenses, businesses can improve profitability, increase cash flow, and enhance shareholder value. Understanding the nuances of operating expenses, from tracking them closely to identifying what isn't included, can empower business leaders to make informed decisions that drive success. So, the next time you hear the term operating expenses, remember that they're more than just numbers on a balance sheet. They're the heartbeat of a business, reflecting its health and vitality in the marketplace.